I am a Mexican composer. I live in Mexico City and I am a member of the Faculty of Music of the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Today I want to share with you the three pieces that I have included in the Sphinx catalog of Latin American cello works. The first piece is called Monologo, which means monologue. Monologo was written in 2007 and it is for cello solo. The piece is called Monologo because it has a declamatory quality. When I wrote this piece, I imagined the cello as a, a character who grieves painfully, tormented by an obsessive thought. Suddenly, this character wants to escape from his lamentation and starts moving in a sort of faster and lighter liberating dance. by little the old painful emotion comes back and takes over again. Monologo was premiered by the Mexican cellist Edgardo Espinosa, who also recorded it on his CD Codificaciones in 2017. Another very good cellist, uh, Gustavo Martín, also recorded Monologo on his CD Monologues, named after my piece. Monologo has been performed several times by different cellists, and I would say its appeal is due to the fact that it is dramatic, yet beautifully expressive. Imágenes oníricas which translates as dreamlike images, was written in 2011 for the ensemble Cello Alterno, formed by Mexican cellist Edgardo Espinosa, Brazilian cellist Iracema de Andrade, and Mexican pianist Edith Ruiz. In this piece, I wanted to experiment with a dreamlike narrative that goes through deeply contrasting emotions and unexpected sonic landscapes, like in dreams, where you may go from sweet to agitated, from amusing to obscure or solemn, in a bizarre fashion that should nevertheless be perceived as natural. The last piece Tango para dos, which translates as Tango for Two, was written in 2012, commissioned by the Argentinian choreographer Cecilia Kamen. I wrote this tango inspired by the music of Astor Piazzolla, the great Argentinian composer. My tango para dos is based on some typical gestures and motifs of the tango, but the harmonic language is harsher and more dissonant than the common tango. So if we can say that the tango is quite expressive, I would say that my tango para dos is expressionistic because it is exaggerated and grotesque. Finally, I want to encourage everyone interested in Latin American music to browse the Sphinx catalog of Latin American cello works, which I am certain will become a great source of information and will help to spread our rich 
exciting and interesting music.